Welcome, everybody. My name is Dr. Janos Győri, and I work for Ötvös Loránd University Budapest, which is in Hungary. And uh, I work for Institute for Intercultural Psychology and Education as an educator. Uh, one of my main interests is uh, Japanese education, and I am also very much involved in teachers, uh, professional uh, development and uh, knowledge construction. So I combined the two together in my presentation about lesson study. I am not that uh, uh, practiced in giving my lectures or presentations uh, uh, in a video record, but I try my best today. At first, I share my screen with my presentation. And uh, uh, this is my presentation, and hopefully you see my presentation uh, very well. So the title of my presentation is to what extent could lesson studies be a global public policy? And at first I will uh, introduce you the basics of lesson study, what it is and uh, how it is done uh, in its traditional and not, not that traditional ways. And then I will talk about lesson studies uh, role in contemporary Japanese education. Then I turn to the cultural and structural aspects of uh, 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 lesson study in Japan. Then I will talk about the spread and dissemination and the challenges of dissemination of lesson study in the globe. And finally, I will talk about uh, some reasons why uh, to do lesson study in or out of Japan. So the basic set first. Um, historically, it is important to know that lesson study is a very, very uh, old uh, traditional Japanese method of uh, teachers' professional development, because this is already older than, uh, than 100 years old in Japan. However, what is interesting that for a long time, approximately 100 years, it was not well known outside of Japan. Only at the very last years of the 20th centuries, uh, uh, people, uh, experts of education became involved and interested and started to know uh, uh, about uh, lesson study. Uh, thanks for American educational researchers who uh, carried out many research on Japanese education at that time, like Catherine Lewis or Stigland Hebert, uh, who published uh, a book uh, uh, titled uh, The Teaching Gap about uh, the Japanese education and the Dep Japanese teachers' um, uh, uh, professionalism compared uh, to Western teachers. And this volume, uh, which was titled, as I told you, uh, teaching gap, uh, Stigler and Heber described a lesson study in a very detailed way for the first time for Western readers. And uh, interestingly, uh, as I will tell you later uh, in some aspects uh, of this uh, uh, process, it was spread out all over the world uh, very quickly. But at first we have to learn about lesson study, what it is. So lesson study is a systematic and iterative collaborative research effort of a small group of teachers who typically belong to the same community of practice and want to develop their understanding of their own teaching practice by these inquiries and to reach together an improved version of a few elements of their classroom activity for the better future development of their students naturally. So all the time lesson study has the main goal to develop uh, 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 students' learning. So this is about teachers' development, but we are teachers' development. Uh, the main goal is uh, to develop uh, the students' uh, uh, learning. And uh, I have to tell you, because may, uh, some of you may be more familiar with the action research, that in its steps, as I will show you uh, shortly, a lesson study is similar to the classical action research uh, steps. But at first, we have to see uh, the steps of lesson study. Uh, the typical steps uh, of lesson studies, uh, study uh, is the next uh, five step in the five big uh, uh, signs on my screen. Uh, 
At first, uh, a member of the staff uh, of uh, a certain school uh, chooses a topic and organizes uh, a group uh, around this topic, a group of teachers, uh, like three, four, five uh, teachers all together, who are involved and interested in this chosen topic and who want to improve uh, something in their practice uh, related to that uh, topic which was uh, uh, chose by uh, one of these teachers. So then they, they organize a working group, uh, group and uh, with the concentrated work in some weeks, they uh, uh, prepare a very, very detailed lesson plan uh, for a lesson in which they focus and they concentrate on that certain point uh, which they want uh, or that certain aspect of education which they want to improve um, uh, uh, by their uh, uh, research and their efforts. When they are ready with the lesson plan, then they carry out uh, a research lesson. It is called research lesson. One of the members of the group of the team, he or she runs this lesson according to the lesson plan. So she or he is uh, uh, very thoroughly uh, following the lesson plan. And when uh, they are ready with the research lesson, so the res uh, research lesson uh, run, then they gather together and they discuss the class, uh, they discuss the plan, they discuss their results. Uh, and if they are not very satisfied, then they start again, they redesign uh, the lesson, and then they uh, uh, discuss again the lesson, sorry, because the order is not uh, uh, perfect on my uh, um, slide, sorry for this. And after that, uh, they share and they discuss, uh, the, they share and they save the results of their lessons and uh, they uh, disseminate uh, this lesson with others uh, in a booklet or in a video presentation or in uh, a digital way uh, nowadays. And uh, then the next uh, time, uh, uh, the same group or um, probably another group rather, they start another lesson research uh, uh, process, uh, uh, which contains the same five uh, main steps with this uh, possibility. And this is, you see, the uh, description of uh, the traditional uh, action research designed by Kurt Levin in the United States, the similar main steps, planning, acting, observing, reflecting, and naturally if they need, they replan, uh, and they act again, and they observe again, and they reflect again. So this is the same, uh, or uh, uh, let me say rather the similar, not the same process, because naturally lesson study is somewhat different. Uh, there are a number of differences, but uh, because of the short time, I can't go into details with these differences. But for example, uh, when the group is ready with the topic, they invite an external expert of education, an external expert of the given topic of education, which they want to improve. And from that point, uh, they also involve uh, this expert into their uh, efforts and to their activity uh, because that expert can give them uh, a very good re um, uh, literature and they can discuss with him or her and uh, he can or she can inspire uh, the group members and also this ex external expert uh, he or she takes part in this research lesson and the discussion and naturally he has a voice uh, in the uh, in analyzing the uh, lesson which was done planned and done uh, by the this research uh, group uh, also there are very many other specialties of research less uh, of lesson study but we can't go into uh, details but uh, um, you might notice in the title of my presentation that I was talking about lesson studies in plural, but after that I started to talk about lesson study, uh, not in plural. Uh, but uh, this is because lesson study has different version, versions, and uh, these different uh, versions were developed uh, in the past decades, uh, mostly not in the past, uh, back in history. Uh, because nowadays we have some modern uh, Japanese versions as well. 
And also there is a new version I indicated on this slide with uh, red letters because this is so important, which is uh, uh, called, which is named similarly, but still somewhat different because this is learning study and not lesson study. And also there is a Chinese model of lesson study and there's the British model carried out by Dudley and uh, his collaborators. And uh, the main characteristic of this English version is that uh, they repeat uh, the research class and the whole process at least three times. And then they can uh, uh, say that they are ready with the research. Uh, and also there is the Kazakh model, uh, which is not that different in the steps, but different in the logistic of lesson study uh, in the country, uh, and so on, and so on, and so on. Okay, some words about lesson study in contemporary Japan. So you can find lesson study as a uh, 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 developing method and as a socializing method in teacher education in Japan. In many, many uh, programs, you can find lesson study in uh, pre-service uh, teacher education or initial teacher education. And uh, it is, we can say, universal in Japan in elementary and junior high school. Uh, and uh, not that universal, but uh, it is also present in senior high schools in Japan. Maybe the difference between elementary and junior high schools is that uh, the staff of, of these types of schools uh, or levels of education are more homogeneous, uh, more overlapping uh, knowledge between the teachers or among the teachers, and more situations when the teach teach exactly the same. Uh, in this level, uh, um, senior high schools are somewhat different in Japanese education. And uh, there are at least three different uh, ways of uh, 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 lesson study uh, in Japan. Uh, uh, the most typical is uh, uh, that they run an e-school uh, lesson study, school-wide, uh, the vice principal or charge uh, uh, is uh, uh, the responsible person of the lesson studies in the school. And uh, it is, uh, they have annual and long-term plans in each elementary and lower secondary school in Japan. Also, there is another version which is among schools lesson study. So teachers from neighboring schools, they run a lesson study project. Uh, uh, and there's also a national version of lesson study in Japan uh, when the Ministry of Education asks uh, some, some hundred schools uh, in Japan to try uh, and to, um, uh, evaluate a new method in education, a new point, a new approach in education by lesson study, and then uh, the schools which are offered this possibility, they do lesson study for uh, the Ministry of Education. Uh, there are some very important uh, cultural and structural uh, elements uh, in Japanese lesson study, which are very important. Maybe the most interesting and most important is that uh, a lesson study is very close to so-called Kaizen culture of developing new methods in Japanese uh, economy. Uh, this is the description of Imai from the 80, 1980s. Uh, you see the main steps are very similar to lesson study, plan, do, check, and act. Um, you have to decide what, why, and how to do. But what is maybe more interesting for us uh, 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 on this right-hand side of the slide, uh, that uh, lesson study is somewhat similar, but still very, very different in Japanese understanding from innovation. Uh, because lesson study is a long-term and uh, 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 process which is built up from small steps, why Western innovations are short-term and big steps uh, uh, typically. It is a continuous development in Japanese economic uh, uh, um, uh, organization. This is gradual and constant, uh, and constant, and everybody is doing this, uh, and this is collective uh, and... Uh, and uh, this is little investment, but a big effort to maintain. Uh, and the people are in the center of this process to change some uh, uh, aspects of the minds uh, of the people in this uh, Kaizen development method. Uh, and uh, uh, also this is better for slow growth in economy. This is exactly the same uh, in lesson study in Japan. 
uh, some structural features uh, uh, of lesson study, why they can do lesson study in Japan, because they have, they have a very short practical part in initial teacher education. So therefore, uh, professional development in the working place in the school becomes very, very important in Japan. Uh, also in Japan, they have a special selection for teachers. That means that many teachers are trained for uh, teaching as a profession, but very few of them are selected uh, by the school district to teach uh, in, in a certain school. And also it is important that uh, the teachers have new placements in each three, five, maybe sometimes seven, uh, maybe sometimes uh, uh, taken the situation of a certain teacher uh, longer or more than seven years, but it is important that they change the school because the school district uh, uh, puts them uh, to a new school and then uh, they can share and they can learn uh, from each other with the new colleagues uh, again. Uh, also, it is very important that Japan uh, has a centralized education and the content is very similar in all schools and slow changes uh, are in Japanese education. So therefore, if you plan how to run a class and you make some uh, changes in the class, uh, you can be sure that other teachers can use it and you can also use it in the futures. Also, it has a cultural context. Uh, I mean, culturally, we have to explain some background. For example, there is a classical uh, question, who owns uh, the lesson? In Western understanding, the teacher uh, who is designing and who is running the class, the, running the lesson, he is the owner, the copyright, let me say, the lesson. But this is not the same in East Asian countries, not the same in Japan as well, you see, because the uh, the lesson belongs to a group of the teachers, to generations of teachers, sometimes in the same school uh, or in the educational system, who produces the lesson. In Western understanding, one person, but in Japanese understanding, a group of practitioners, they uh, produce the lesson. And uh, the next question is when uh, the lesson is ready, in Western understanding, the lesson is ready. Uh, when you prepare, then you uh, uh, already uh, practice, did uh, with your class the lesson. But in East Asian, in Japanese uh, understanding, the lesson is a never ending process. It is not finished anytime. You can improve all the time with small steps. You can improve uh, all the time. What is interesting in the epistemological background of lesson study that historically in Japan, they had very, very few uh, assessment, maybe no assessment at all for many decades uh, in Japanese education, if it is uh, uh, effective or not, because everybody took a lesson study as uh, 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 take, taken as granted. So this is naturally something what people do because they have to improve education and the way to improve of education is the step-by-step -step, uh, development of uh, the class. Uh, also, it is important to understand what kind of metaphors can be behind a lesson study, which was not that much assessed uh, in Japanese education for 100 years. Uh, so if we take the three basic uh, metaphors of education, that teaching is an art or teaching is a craft or teaching is a scientifically based activity, uh, you can imagine nowadays uh, uh, the idea that teaching is a scientifically based activity also present in Japan, but for a long time, uh, uh, education in Japan was taken as an art or taken as a craft, uh, uh, which means that you can make the biggest development in this activity in the practice and by the practice, because this is a kind of uh, learning and understanding and developing something in, by, uh, via, through uh, the practice. So uh, its pattern is closer uh, to the metaphors of uh, uh, teaching is an art or teaching is a craft uh, in which a master teaches the uh, 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 apprentices uh, 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 around him or herself. Uh, also, it is a question who teaches. Uh, 
uh, in Western countries, we feel almost all the time that one teacher who is in the classroom is teaching. Uh, this is not the same idea in Japanese education because in Japan they take uh, that, the, that a certain teacher is in the classroom, but a group of teachers is teaching, but the other teachers are not there physically. They are just behind uh, the classroom. They are just behind the planning. Uh, of the class uh, and one teacher is uh, manifesting that plan, uh, what they teach. You see, also it is uh, interesting to remark that in Japanese classroom, you can find other teachers very uh, frequently uh, because they visit each other very frequently. And it is rather rare to find only one individual isolated teacher in the classroom because uh, most of the time there is a visiting uh, 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 colleague in the classroom who tries to learn something and who tries to give feedback for the visited teacher after the classroom. Uh, so, uh, 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 so this is different. Uh, the concept of uh, the uh, uh, teacher uh, in Japanese education. Okay, now we can turn quickly on the spread and dissemination challenges of lesson study. Interestingly, it uh, uh, really happened very, very quickly, very rapidly after the Stiegler and Hebert book was uh, published in 1999. In all parts of the uh, globe, immediately a uh, Japanese type of lesson study uh, appeared. And in some years, the new version, the learning study, uh, was also carried out by um, Western and Hong Kong uh, uh, colleagues' uh, collaboration, Martin and Lee, they invented learning study, uh, which I can't introduce you today, but uh, uh, a similar, uh, but still a different process uh, to lesson study. And it was interesting, this rapid uh, spread out of lesson study in some years, uh, because uh, it seemed to be independently effective of culture and political system. However, if you ask me, if uh, uh, colleagues could uh, uh, use lesson study in different cultures of education uh, differently or the, or the same way, so did they import or did they adapt lesson study? We can say uh, that they rather adapted lesson study because it was culturally uh, also different from many aspects of traditions uh, in Western countries. So uh, you can guess that there were culture and structural constraints uh, with lesson study as well, and you are right. If you have this impression, yes, this is a time-consuming activity uh, and the Western teachers, they don't have this kind of extra time so uh, uh, frequently. The Japanese teachers, they have less classes, but they spend more time in the school compared to Western, mainly to compared to American colleagues. It needs uh, enough time, and uh, that means that it is um, demanding in this sense. Also, you need an expert uh, from outside, which uh, maybe costs some money, depends on the country. Also, it needs group work, so the teachers will be ready for collaboration in this sense. Uh, also, it is not easy to run the research lesson uh, because somebody has to run, and it is not easy to run uh, um, and to show your lesson, uh, the lesson to the other teachers who are in the group or who are uh, the principal or outside teachers outside from the school to this research lesson. And also this is difficult to find out culturally what is the focus of the uh, research lesson, the teacher who runs the uh, research class or the class itself, the students themselves, or the teaching as a process. But this is not that easy to find out. Uh, and also, it is not easy to save uh, the whole process and to put together uh, in a booklet or in a, uh, a, another uh, digitalized way. And it is also not uh, easy to understand the effectiveness of lesson study because uh, uh, maybe we can't show uh, the effectiveness of lesson study with typical traditional uh, researches. Then you can ask why to implement this into Western societies and why to implement it uh, into different countries all over the world. Uh, I think it is a well adaptable method for teachers' continuous professional development. And uh, it can be school-wide, it can be district-wide, it can be um, educational system-wide in a country. So this is well adaptable uh, in that sense. 
Uh, also, it shapes teachers' concept on practice in education. I will show you quickly later how it uh, shapes the teachers' concept in very many aspects, but I will show you at least one of them. Uh, also, it is a very effective method for sharing uh, uh, the knowledge and to uh, develop new knowledge uh, by the teachers. And it uh, develops the individual teachers, the groups of the teachers and the organization, the school. I don't have enough time to talk about the school uh, development, but it is also a very important possibility how lesson study can develop the culture of education of a school. And also it is a good method for team innovation, okay, not in the Japanese sense, because you see that Kaizen differentiates between innovation and, uh, uh, and Japanese way of uh, uh, developing uh, methods in an activity, but still uh, it is a very, very uh, effective method of uh, innovation. It is uh, effective and develops teachers because it slows down the teacher's perception on teaching uh, as a teaching process. So it slows down and also magnifies small elements of education, makes small big things, things big uh, for the teacher's perception. And they can think about these uh, magnified elements of uh, education very effectively. Also, it develops the understanding of teachers, each other's way of teaching, concepts and mentality, change, uh, change, changes teachers' habits and polishes, polishes their epistemology in education, offers the possibility of organizational development, helps the students to understand that teaching is not something that just happening and can activate them in the process. What is the situation in Japan that the students themselves, they know very well when a research lesson is going on because there are so many teachers and they know that now this is the point when teachers learn how to teach in better way, you see. So also they socialize the students themselves that this is not just something which happens, I mean, teaching spontaneously, but something which is developed and designed. And also in general, we can say that improves uh, the culture of uh, learning. Uh, sorry, I ran out the time and now we don't have uh, more time to go into details, but maybe if we have some uh, question and answer sessions, we can talk about some more details aspects. I hope that you learned something about lesson study and I was uh, really honored that I could talk about lesson study in this conference. Goodbye.